Okay, here we go. Um, hey guys, what's up? To be honest, today I just want to talk to you. Um, <laughs> okay, well, st to start off this video, I guess I should tell you. Last night, I was having kind of, I couldn't get to sleep, okay? I couldn't get to sleep, and I was just like literally thinking, having one of those, those nights when you kind of have an existential crisis, um, and you just begin to look at areas of your life and you know what what's working what's not how are things going and to be honest as I was evaluating my life um, I was just left off with this overall sense that I feel like I'm behind um, I feel like I'm behind and that fear of feeling like I've being <laughs> that I am behind actually really cripples a lot of areas of my life and you know, I feel like I'm behind career-wise. Career um, like I'm here making a YouTube video. I'm not like a, it, it's just hard for me to, you know, feel like what I'm doing is significant or matters. And in some ways, in a lot of ways, just like financially and stuff like that, yeah, I feel like I'm not measuring up to where I should be in regards to like social life and stuff like that. It's like, I don't have any as many friends as I may want, as I do want, I, I want more friends to be honest. Like close friends, like good community, that kind of thing. And sure, yeah, there are areas of my life where I'm like, yeah, I like that. But at the same time, I think we all deal with this kind of fear of feeling like we're behind in some way. Like we're not as far along as we should be and and it, it's crippling it's crippling um, when you live in that in that fear um this week I've been reading I've been doing some reading and I've also been you know thinking about this kind of topic and just in regard to like living in fear and I think a lot of us you know more <laughs> including myself we live with fear and we we act out in fear so it's not like we so, okay, I'll give you an example. Um, when I feel like I'm behind in some way, my fear, that fear of feeling like I'm behind, motivates me to do something. And that could be a good thing. You know, fear motivates a lot of people to be productive and do things that matter. Um, but for me, it actually prevents me a lot of the time from relaxing and not feeling guilty when I'm not doing something. So if I'm watching, you know, the Toronto Raptors game, Toronto Raptors are big here in Canada, um, if I'm watching a Toronto Raptors game and I'm just feeling guilty about watching it because I feel like I should be doing something else. Maybe that's a sign that maybe I haven't finished everything that I should have, but maybe that's also me letting fear of being left behind, being, you know, behind all my other peers or whatever it is, this fear that I'm not measuring up, get in the way of me actually enjoying blessings that God gives me in my life. And maybe you experience this too. You act out of fear, kind of as a preventative measure to not experiencing the things that you're afraid of. So you work extra hard. You let your work become your idol because you're scared that you're not going to become successful or you're not going to be able to provide all that stuff. You know, and, and there's a couple other areas that I was thinking about. What do we live uh, what are our motivations for living kind of thing um, when we talk about yeah living with this motivation of like fear like letting fear drive us um, some people let pride drive them and pride just like this idea that I'm the best I'm awesome so I'm gonna do all this stuff because I'm just that awesome um, that's another area that I struggle with as well but you know this idea of can faith motivate us to actually live lives that aren't consumed with fear so when we trust in God fully then we can kind of let these things go and we don't have to be afraid of feeling like we're behind in some way like we're not you know we're not where we should be or think we should be it's like when I think about my career <laughs> it doesn't make sense I have no idea what I'm doing I, I try to feel like I try to piece it together like I have some kind of plan that's going on but at the end of the day I'm 20 years old and trying to make YouTube videos online and write articles and write books and just, you know, try to see what works and just trying to serve God. And at the end of the day, honestly, I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do what I want to do or be able to, <laughs> like, there's a lot of questions 
there's a lot of questions but at the end of the day if i'm trusting god then then that should be that should be a, a place of peace right because if i have total trust in god and i was talking to my dad about this this morning if we have total trust in god that he has our best interest in mind then we shouldn't be afraid of being left behind in some way like we're behind of our peers or other people like we're we're not measuring up because of god's grace he accepts us he loves us and that's what i'm honestly trying to really really begin to understand um you know there's last year i was at a conference actually a local homeschool conference um it was a conference that i actually spoke at this year um which is kind of funny but last year there's a speaker that came in and I don't remember a lot of what he said, but he had mentioned that there was a moment when he truly understood that God loved him. And I was just thinking about that, how so often we're kind of consumed with anxieties and worries and fears and, and especially for me, that's a big thing that I battle with every single day. Every day of my life, I, I'm battling with the idea of what am I doing? Why am I doing this? You know, I feel like I'm behind. I feel like I'm not measuring up. I feel like I'm not good at anything. But when I, when I heard that this guy had this moment when he really truly understood that God loved him, that kind of that moved me a lot because for me that's a daily, a daily struggle to really understand that yeah God does love me, and what are the implications of that? And I want to ask you, what are the implications of that in your life? Where are the areas of that fear have really taken hold of you? And you're just acting out of fear, like you're, you don't want to be left behind, or you want to seem like everybody else, or you want to fit in, and all this kind of thing. Because I guess what I want to get across to you guys is it's really, 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 really hard to be... Um, to be okay with not necessarily knowing what you're doing. It's really hard to be in that space where you're just trusting God, even though you might not know where the next step is. You know, I don't know what I'm going to be doing two months from now. I don't know what I'm going to be doing a month from now. Like, there's so many questions in my mind. And ever since I left university, which I'll probably be making a video about soon, and why I did that, but ever since that happened, there's kind of been a lot of questions. But at the end of the day, if we're trusting in God, we can't let that fear take hold of us. And that's what I'm trying to do. So, um, <laughs> I guess that's all I have to say, is that I'm going to begin to trust in God, continue to trust in God, and believe that, that, he has his, that He has my best interest in mind, and ultimately, that He is working things out for my good and his glory and that's all I could ask for and at the end of the day if I'm you know if things don't go exactly the way I want to or maybe even I am behind in some ways that that's okay that God's got me and that's what I'm going to continue to believe and I encourage you to believe the same thing it's not easy it never was never never will be but we can trust God Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later.